how do you how do you get someone to recalibrate when they've spent their whole life like I'm going to be the best linebacker in the world? You know, like for you, you know, you had a, you said you had great parents and grandparents and great grandparents and an ecosystem and a family love and support. Everyone doesn't have that wisdom and, and love and support, so they're sort of untethered because they were like, I'm putting all my eggs in this basket of being a professional athlete. Even if they're the one percent that do, their their lifespan in that sport may only be five years or less. So they have to re-identify their own identity, values, and and recalibrate goals. I I, I got to imagine that's it's a big is, part of it. Yeah, it's a big part of sen- understanding who you are, right? Yeah, and who you are, and who you're no longer, right? Yeah, and and, and realizing that you're no longer that athlete or that number. Really, you're you're now this man or woman that's um, you know has a name and has values and has skills and has resources. And how do you start to tap into that and Part of that is understanding, understanding self. And one of the hardest things to do for all of us in life is to understand that our biggest enemy is our inner me. Yeah. And our inner me, our ego, oftentimes f- fuels us in, in, in ways that makes us make decisions that maybe not in our best interest. And, and so oftentimes what happens for many athletes is because they have played this game that's like a drug that has that feeds your ego more than probably anything in the world you become used to being or feeling significant you think that you got to continue to have this life of significant but you're not really fully sure what significant means other than you equate significance with title power and money and so athletes will then transition from this in environment that they're in where they have been significant thinking that they got to continue that path to, to, to chase that because that's what they're used to and their ego desires. And they go after wanting to be the CEO or make the most money or take an exorbitant amount of risk with investments to be significant. And it's, so it's reshaping that actually working and being a firefighter or actually being starting your own nonprofit or actually staying at home and being being a being a dad that's well, significant well, well this this goes to this goes